So now in this video we're going to talk about wiring batteries in series like uh, these ones here or in parallel like these and then you can also wire them in series parallel like these right here. And so to begin with we'll look at what's probably most common is putting batteries in series. So batteries have a certain voltage uh, per cell and uh, so these batteries that look like this are typically one cell alkaline batteries they're rated for 1.5 volts so they're a little bit higher when they're fresh if they're not rechargeable and uh, usually alkaline aren't and then when uh, they discharge they get lower but in any case the nominal voltage is 1.5 that's about the voltage it'll be most of the time you put two of them in series you connect the negative of one to the positive of the other and on the other ends now you have a total of three volts if one battery can provide an amp of current for an hour you could use uh, less current for more time or more current for less time if it can handle that much current but uh, in any case if that can pass uh, one amp of current push that much the two of them in series they have a higher voltage but each one of them can only pass one amp of current uh, over an hour and uh, so the current has to flow through the two of them and uh, they're passing current as far as they're concerned just like they're by themselves got three of them we got 4.5 volts again the three of them will be able to pass an amp of current for an hour but at a higher voltage so you get more power you can power stuff with that amp that you wouldn't have been able to before and then four same thing and uh, sometimes you'll see holders like this but in any case six volts across those two ends and again one amp of current through the total thing for about an hour if they're one amp hour batteries and now that brings us to parallel batteries. So parallel batteries have both their positive terminals in this case, all three of their positive terminals there. All the positive terminals are connected and all the negative terminals are connected. So they need to be the same voltage when you connect them or else the higher voltage one will charge the lower voltage one. If they're not rechargeable, that's very bad. It's getting uh, recharged when it shouldn't. And even if they are rechargeable, not much is limiting current. So maybe too much current will flow and uh, damage something. So you want them equal value uh, batteries at that time for uh, voltage especially. Now the uh, amount of current it can provide over an hour as long as they're all equal batteries if they're 1000 milliamp hours which is the same as one amp hour. I find lower value batteries they like to say milliamp hours and then much larger ones they use amp hours. But it's the same thing 1000 milliamp hours versus one amp hour. So if you got two of those in parallel you end up with 2000 milliamp hours. So it can provide, it can power something I should say twice as long at the same current. Three parallel batteries three times as long for a given current. Now also there's a current limit. If a battery can only provide one amp of current, probably even less than that if it's a, a small battery, but if it can provide one amp of current, if you have two of them then it can provide two amps of current because each one's only providing one and uh, if there's three of them parallel then you can get a total of three amps of current over time because each one of them is only providing one amp of current itself and now that brings us to series parallel which you'll see a lot in large applications like uh, solar battery banks or something you take solar power charging battery banks you're going to see them in series so they get up to the voltage that you need and then you're going to get them in parallel so they can handle the current that you need so again we got three volts if there's two of them in series like that just like when we got one right there but uh, one of them alone will have one amp hour of current so we can just attach another uh, series set right there to get a total of two amp hours and it's best to connect them in this middle ground as well so that uh, they don't get a little unbalanced because maybe one side can provide a little more current than the other or something so it's best to also connect them in the middle there and then again we just add another row then we can get three amp hours so that's what you do when you have a voltage you like but you need uh, either more current flow at any given time or more current for a longer period of time you can just keep adding them in parallel pretty straightforward so there's a couple things uh, never connect unequal batteries as I said before that's a large goal keeping them to the same voltage and uh, you need to already have done that before you connect them in parallel 
and also don't short circuit. So as you keep adding batteries, you can see voltage is going up and better batteries, especially when you get higher uh, voltages, they can pass a whole lot of current. And uh, so you can get to the point where you got enough series batteries where you attach metal and do a short circuit, positive directly to negative, that wire might vaporize or worse. So you got to avoid that. But in any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I got links down in the description. That'll help out a ton. I will see you in the next video.